and I like to see all the children out in their costumes. But when I see them, I always hope they don't forget all they know about crossing streets safely, and I hope you don't either. That's especially important when drivers can't see you well. And for you to see the cars well, it's a good idea to take off your mask when you cross. Even though it may not be night yet, it's dark enough to make things outdoors hard to see, you and the cars. It makes me so happy when I see children look to their left for cars, then right for cars, then left again before they cross. You mustn't forget all the safety rules you know on Halloween, and especially because it's dark. It's safest not to cross between parked cars. That can be very dangerous. And don't cut across yards or empty lots. When it's dark, you can't see what's there. Remembering safety rules is very important on Halloween. There's something else that can help keep you safe outside when it's dark. You'll see right away. Yes, just as I thought. They're coming up my walk now. The people who live in my house like to take pictures of the children who come by. Take a picture for a treat, too. A pretty smile. Now you'll see what there is about their costumes that makes it easier for drivers to see them when it's dark. Do you see how easy it is to see the bright colors in the costumes? Bright colors are easier to see at night than dark colors are. But there's something else. Some parts seem to glow from the camera flash. That's how those parts will look when car headlights shine on them. Those are just pieces of special tape that reflect light very well. You can put tape like that on your costume and on your trick-or-treat bag. Some costumes already have reflecting material on them. Making your costume and your bag easy to see makes you easy to see. And that's a good way to help make Halloween safe. The safer Halloween is, the more fun it is for you and for me. That's what I think. But some people have a strange idea of fun. They think it's fun to mess up other people's things with paint. They don't think about how the people feel whose things are ruined. And some people think it's fun to throw things at cars and houses and buildings. But the people whose things they're messing up don't. I don't either. It isn't fun to spoil other people's things and make them unhappy. Some people even think it's fun to smash pumpkins. Oh no, that's not fun. Not for all the people who work so hard carving pumpkins, and especially not for us pumpkins. Whew, wow, that was close. Some people don't know what fun really is. I do, and I'll bet you do too. And I know they do. Trick-or-treating is always fun. But there are some things you should remember to help keep it fun. One thing is to always go out with friends. And have an adult come along, too. Don't ever trick-or-treat alone. And if someone you don't know very well invites you in... Look, tonight. Would you like to come in? I have more treats inside. No, thank you. No, thank you. That's right. Say, no thanks. And don't eat the treats while you're collecting them. Stay in your own neighborhood. Don't get too far from home. Don't worry, you'll collect enough treats. People are expecting you. And even if you don't stop at houses with no outside lights on, which you shouldn't, you'll have a wonderful time at Halloween. Some of you will probably still be out when it's really dark. That's when flashlights are an especially good idea. To help you watch out for places you might fall or stumble over if you didn't see them. But remember, don't shine those flashlights into anybody's eyes, especially a driver's eyes. That could be dangerous. It isn't hard to have a safe Halloween. Just look how easy it is to see those children when they cross. They wouldn't want an accident to spoil their Halloween fun. I wouldn't want that to happen either. Trick-or-treating is almost over this Halloween for Corey and Jessica and Jeremy. It's almost time for them to head for home. 
But what do you do with all the treats you've collected? A lot of them are things to eat, of course. But you don't eat them all, at least not right away, that's for sure. And there might be some you won't want to eat at all. Get a grown-up to help you decide, or at least someone a lot older than you. You see, some people think it's fun to play tricks with your treats. Watch out for candy wrappers that have been torn or punctured. That might be a sign of tampering. There might be things in the candy, so break open candy bars before you eat them. Cut fruit into pieces before you eat it, just in case something's been stuck in it. Watch out for things that look like candy, but might be medicines or drugs or even poisons. Don't eat anything that doesn't look right. If it looks funny, it might not be so funny if you ate it. Treats are so much fun to collect, it'd be awful to have them spoil your Halloween fun by making you sick. Corey's treats won't make her sick, and I hope yours won't make you sick either. I hope you can have the most fun you've ever had this Halloween. Halloween can be a scary time, not because of witches or ghosts that we know aren't real, but because of real things that can spoil our fun. Just remember these few important things I've told you about. Carve your pumpkin carefully. Make sure that you can see. And make sure people can see you. Remember all your safety rules and take off your mask when you cross a street. Trick or treat! Trick or treat in your own neighborhood and don't keep any treats that don't look right. If you can do all that, then you won't have to worry about scary, real things happening on Halloween, right? Right. Have a fun and a safe Halloween.